Doesn't it scare you just a little bit to see people driving down the highway, turning their heads from one side to the other, trying to see the traffic behind them? Now, some driving schools teach the shoulder check, but you don't have to read a book while you're looking over your shoulder. You've got three mirrors here, but they're no good to you unless they're properly adjusted. The most obvious one is the inside rear view mirror. Adjust it so you get the maximum view out the rear window. We call the exterior mirrors side view mirrors because they show you what's beside your car, not what's behind it. For the left side mirror, adjust it about as far out as it'll go. So when you stick your head out the door, you can actually just see the side of your own car. This way it will expose anything in the adjacent lane that's ahead of your rear bumper, but just behind where your peripheral vision picks it up. The right side mirror is the one most people have trouble with because they adjust it so they can just see the side of their own car. Hey, when's the last time your own car ever came up and hit you? Meanwhile, look what's sitting out there on the blind spot. You know you've got it adjusted correctly when you can lean well over into the passenger seat and then just see the side of your own car. Again, you just need to see what you can pick up from your peripheral vision back to where your rear bumper starts. So now I've moved you into the driver's seat and I've come out here into what you used to think was a blind spot, but you can see me fine. And as I move out of view of this mirror, you pick me up in the rear view mirror. And as I move further to the right, now you can see me in the right side mirror. So if your mirrors are properly adjusted, there are no blind spots and there's no need for you to do a lot of this shoulder checking stuff. This way we'll all feel a lot safer on the highway.